Alright, what is poppin' everybody? Welcome to the official start of our Pokemon Leaf Green completely randomized Nuzlocke challenge here on the channel today. I don't know about you guys, but I'm extremely excited. Rest in peace, all the headphone users right now. I am extremely excited to bringing you guys this brand new Let's Play. It's been such a long time for me, it feels like. I've been away for a week, been on vacation, as you can tell, like I'm super brown. I, I shouldn't have sunbathed that much, but we are here for the official beginning of of our leaf green completely randomized nuzlocke thank you guys so much for coming through and supporting the first official choose my starter episode over 400 comments absolutely insane i had to go through every single one and try and count as many votes as what i could i literally ended up just scrolling through and like simmering like all the things of what like people were choosing so let's go ahead and see what pokemon is going to be our status so surprisingly enough there were actually quite a lot of votes for apom now um, Apom, I think, won't be able to evolve in this generation, um, unless, I think I put it to, like, level 40 things evolve, but, like I said, it's not Diamond and Pearl, so that can't evolve. We have Tauros, which got a lot of votes as well, a lot of people using the underdog, it's like, yo, you've got to use Afrojack, the boy, Afrojack, but... Ninetales was the winner, of course. It got absolutely destroyed in the comment section. So, we will use the electric type Pokemon, Ninetales. I'm super excited for this. I'm really excited for it. So, I don't know about you guys, but make sure to go ahead and destroy the thumbs up button. Show some love to that video that really supports the video as well. I can't even speak right now. Anyways, a nickname to Ninetales. It is a boy, Ninetales. Um, what? I'm going to call this thing Mia. I think Mia sounds pretty dope. I could have used a better name, I guess, but hey, Mia sounds dope. We will use Mia. Guri says, I'll take this one. <laughs> I completely forgot that I named this guy Guri. <laughs> I absolutely love that thing. All right, so, Professor Okiloke. If a wild Pokemon appears, you can use Pokemon to battle it. Okay, sir, thank you very much. Um, we need to go ahead and battle Guri now. I wonder, even though he's picked Tauros, I wonder if it'll still be randomized. I don't know about that, but I'm excited to find out. Super excited to find out. Cool trainer boy, Guri. Uh, sends out a Pidgeotto. What the hell? He has a Pidgeotto, okay. Look at Mia, though. Oh, for Pete's sake, so pushy as always. Yellow, you've never had a Pokemon battle before, have you? A Pokemon battle is when trainers pit their Pokemon against each other. And the trainer that makes the other trainer's Pokemon faint by low... Get it, faint. Lowering their HP to zero wins. But rather than talking about it, you'll learn from more experience. Okay, I'm excited to see what moves we'll have. Oh my lord, he's got Guillotine, Miracote, Megahorn, and Secret Power. Should we drop a Guillotine? Ah, my attack missed. God damn it. Oh, yo, he's got Earthquake and I'm grabbed. <laughs> How could that? Yo, what the hell? No. Yo. Pidgeotto coming through with the Earthquake. That's insane! Hmm, how disappointing. Wait, what? <laughs> how was that even... How was I even supposed to win that? I should have just gone straight up from the Mega Horn. God damn it. Hey, we tried Guillotine. I didn't expect to have Earthquake. Okay, I'll make my Pokemon battle and toughen it up. Yellow Grump, smell you later. God damn you, Guri. God damn you, Guri. Oh, he's putting me down. Always putting me down, but hey, look at this room palette town. It's been so long since I've played through Pokemon Leaf Green. So I'm super excited to find out what Pokemon are going to be lurking in the grass for us. But remember, the Nuzlocke does not start until we get the Pokeballs, which is absolutely fine for us, considering that we just lost our first ever battle. I'm sorry Mia got absolutely blown back then. Yo, that's crazy. So we get a potion. I think what I really want to do in this Let's Play is take my time. A red guys! Okay! I wouldn't be too mad getting that, to be honest. I really wouldn't. Needle arm. It's a psychic. That is insane. That is absolutely insane. Let's go for the Mega Horn. That's. It's like its moveset is absolutely wild as well. Like, I didn't expect this at all. Oh, I don't know why I pressed my... Oh, yeah, I hit it. I thought I was going to miss them, but anyways. Let's take down the red guys. And we get a nice 92 EXP for Mia there. Gets it up to level 6. That's dope. Hopefully red... Ah, oh, the only problem is... Um, I don't know red guys' capture rate in this game. So, I don't know if I... If I, like, run into red guys first. If I'm going to be wasting all my Pokeballs. 
I really don't know. I, I'm scared about that. I really am. Uh, let's go ahead and heal up before um, we venture on back out at all. That's the one thing I really need to do. Um, I've taken this from Alpha Sapphire, and I know a lot of people complain in the Alpha Sapphire uh, regarding like um, healing Pokemon up. Uh, and taking my time and stuff like that. Uh, and, and the thing that I want to stress enough is that it's a randomizer, so I can't predict the moves that these Pokemon are going to have. So that's why I usually get blown back. Now, the Clef Key situation was something that, yes, I could have prevented, but the fact that it must have been a huge power Clef Key that were absolutely wiping through my team, I'm telling you, it had to be a huge power. Um, I'm not going to go through the grass because I want it to be a surprise. I will try my best not to go through the grass, because I want it to be a surprise when I go for my first Pokemon. I'm excited. I really am excited. Every single time I start off episode 1 for like a, um, a randomizer, and it's like, I get so hyped. Like a legit do. Okay, Oki boy. I'm back. Oh, yellow, how old is- how's my old Pokemon? Well, it seems to be growing more attached to you. You must be talented as a Pokemon trainer. What's that? You have something for me? Yes, I do. You see, it was crazy enough, how was you supposed to know? Does he actually tell you to go to the Pokemon? I can't quite remember. I almost forgot, what did you call me for? Oh, right. I have a request for you two. On the desk set, there's my invention of the Pokedex, and automatically records data on the Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. Yellow and Guri. <laughs> Every time I say freaking Guri, bro. Every time I say Guri. You can't, get, uh, you can't get detailed data from Pokemon just by seeing them, you must catch them to obtain the complete data. So here are some tools for catching wild Pokemon. Oh, so we actually get five Pokeballs. It's gonna be so hard to get through the grass without uh, getting an encounter so I can get more Pokeballs. Because I'm pretty sure I'll have like 3k to spend. So I have five Pokeballs. If I run into red guys, uh, I'm gonna be so mad if I can't capture that Pokemon. Yellow, I hate to say it, but you won't be necessary for this. I know, I'll borrow my town map from my sis. I'll tell her not to lend you one. Gary! What a guy. What a guy, Gary. What a guy, Gary. But it's fine, because your sister will give me one anyways. <laughs> so, I don't understand why you have to be like that, Gary. I'll just steal that one that's on the table right now. Thank you. I get a town map from Daisy. Thanks, Daisy. Alright, let us venture on! Ah, uh, if we get through without an encounter, then I'll be alright, because then I can get more Pokeballs. Okay, so far so good. No! <laughs> Anyways, our first encounter is... Bro, what?! I mean, it can evolve, which is alright, but a Jigglypuff! This Pokemon is literally buried. I see this in every single goddamn Let's Play I do. I always end up capturing... I did it in Alpha Sapphire. Jigglypuff was my encounter there. I just don't understand. Like, I don't understand what is wrong with me catching Jigglypuffs all the time. I always tend to do it. But anyways, Jigglypuff will be added to the team. What can we give a nickname to Jigglypuff? Um... I genuinely don't know what to call this thing. Um... A guy Jigglypuff. I could call it after a singer, but it'll evolve. So I genuinely don't know what we could call this thing. Um... I actually know quite a good name, but I don't know if, um, let me just quickly get this. There we go, that's how you spell it. I didn't want to not spell it right. <laughs> Pharrell Williams, yo. Pharrell Williams, the Jigglypuff. It makes sense. It's all good. It is all good. Let's take a look at Jigglypuff, though. Oh, Mia's got an item. It's got a white herb. Yo, that's insane. So, the Nuzlocke has officially started. Um, we got Jigglypuff, the ice type, with synchronize, with body slam. Okay, Jigglypuff. Okay, Jigglypuff. Yo. I bet there had to be something else in here rather than that thing. Is the reg ice? I'm gonna kill this thing because it gives quite decent EXP. Oh, my white herb happened. I right, got rid of it. God damn it! God damn it! 
All right, anyways, 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 anyways. So let's get back to the Pokemon Center because we do need to heal up. We do have some more encounters though, which is pretty dope. Um, I think what I'm going to do though, even though I only use one Pokeball, I'll still stock up on some. Just in case we run into anything majorly dope, because we could run into like a Salamence, anything good like that. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy 10 for two grand, uh, and then I'll buy like three potions. Just so um, we have potions in case anything happens. So let me check. Mia's level 6, Pharrell's level 3. Um, Yeah, we should be good to go ahead and capture like a brand new Pokemon. I don't think I want to take on Guri just yet. Um, I don't know if it will keep the same, like, Pidgeotto. But a brand new encounter is going to be happening right now. I'm excited to see what this is going to be. Please be something good! Oh, yo, yes! It's a Curlia. I will take it. I will take that thing. I will take that. Th oh, don't have Teleport, for God's sake. It's got Ice Punch. That's dope. Um, I think I'm going to go into Pharrell. Oh, god damn, that hurt. No, no, sir. What the hell? How could you? I <laughs> just lost Pharrell. How could I use just lose Pharrell like that? Are you serious? Oh, my lord. Oh, I nearly ran then. Jesus Christ. I'm sorry about Jigglypuff. I'm sorry about Jigglypuff. You have been swapped out for the Curlia. Can we capture this thing, please? There we go. Easily done. We got a Curlia. Oh, yo, I can't believe we just lost Pharrell just like that. Like, why? Pharrell? <laughs> Pharrell Williams, no, come back. I miss you already. I miss you already. Um, I'm trying to remember what the um, what she was called. Blair, that is it. The cat lady, um, which is like the witch, um, from Soul Eater. And that's how you spell it. I just like to double check on how to spell things. I just like to double check. Okay, so we have Blair. Uh, which is a grass type. It's got static with Comet Punch, Ice Punch, Arm Thrust, and Ice Beam. That is insane. And what what nature? Um, it's a gentle niche. Ah, not the best, but let's take a look. What else was in here? So I'm kind of interested to see. There's another Curlia. I might as well try and kill these things and get some EXP while I'm at it. Is Curlia the only Pokemon that like literally just appears in here? Ah, oh, no. There was Spinder. Oh, yo, we're going for the dynamic punch. That's insane. Okay, let me get a punt out. I need to get a punt out and go back to the Pokemon Center. We need to drop off Pharrell, which I'm upset about. I'm genuinely I'm upset. Like, when I captured him, I was like, ah, I mean, it's Jigglypuff, but it can evolve. And Curlia will evolve as well. So I don't genuinely don't know. Remember, they can evolve into, like, legendary Pokemon? Which, if it does, I will be absolutely over the moon. If it evolves into Rayquaza. <laughs> Fizz it, that'd be insane. Fizz just appearing in the first episode. That would actually genuinely be lit. Like, I would actually be over the moon to get that thing. Oh, crap. We forgot to drop off Pharrell. Okay, Pharrell. You are the first death. Which, I'm sorry about that. And I'll change the wallpaper to that. I hate that. There you go, Pharrell. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry, you got absolutely blown back by Curlia. So we lost, we lose a Pokemon to gain a Pokemon. Which is dope as hell. So I just quickly want to do um, like a, like two minutes of, oh, shit. Uh, this is kind of scary. Yes, that would absolutely blow me back. That was a good swap. That was a good swap. The overheat there would have been absolutely insane. Machop. I feel... How could you have sacred fire? Oh, yo, I survived. What the hell? Why is everything out to kill the grass type? Like, I genuinely don't know. 
Oh my lord! The Grimer, I swear to god, Grimer, if you have a fire type move. You have splash, okay, that's good. You have splash, that's good. Even though I know we can take the sacred fire, I genuinely don't want to. There we go. Okay, Mia's level 8, so that'll get Mia up. I want to get Curlia up just to around, like, level... To at least level 6 or something like that. Just so she's strong enough to, to take Pokemon on. ARE YOU SERIOUS?! YO, WHY IS EVERYTHING GOING TO CRAP?! YO! It was a friggin' level three! <laughs> oh, my lord! Why? Seriously, like, why? Oh, my. I've not. I've been recording for 16 minutes and I've already lost two Pokemon. Oh, yo, this game, I can already see this game being absolutely so bad for me. Well, at least me as level 8, the only thing we can do now is capture a new Pokemon. Oh, we have to talk to this guy regarding the friggin- oh, it's a Togetic. We get Tetsu TV. I never use that thing, ever. But hey, we're on Route 2. We get some new Pokemon, for God's sake. Oh, in fact, the real question is, how many Pokeballs do I have left? I have 11. All right, that's fine. I have 11, that's fine. Please, something! Give me something, at least, here that can make up. A Crobat! Yo! My team would have been so powerful! Like, it genuinely would have been so powerful. Oh, get a crowbat. That's insane. I don't even know how I'm gonna train this guy up. Um, crowbat nickname for you. Um, I genuinely don't know. Um, let me find out. Because I think there should be like. I like to just genuinely name things like after animes and stuff like that. So that's why. Um, let me go ahead and. Why? I don't know why my phone's ringing. There we go. Um,. Oh, here we go. The greatest bat characters of anime. There's <laughs> Bartok? Ba There's Batman. <laughs> Yo. Could you just call him Batman? There's Fufu, Shid. Goth. Oh, God. Chinook. Throb. Batros. Ratbat. Mindwipe. What the hell are these things? Cassiel. I'm gonna call this guy Shade. I'm gonna call this thing Shade. He was female, but hey, it works. Call the guy Shade. There we go. Alright, so, the last thing to do in today's episode is go into Viridian Forest and capture a Pokemon. I do need to do some grinding. Um, it's a rock type with a serious nature, which is absolutely crap for us. Um, early bird, awaken from sleep early. Um, it's got bind, encore, skill swap, and tackle, which is not the best move set for me. And um, what else was there in here? There was a love disc, trace. There was a Kangas Kong. So I think I, uh, yeah, it's a good way on that. I think I got the best pick, to be honest. I think I definitely got the best pick. So we'll get our encounter in the Viridian Forest. And then we shall go ahead and wrap things up there. I came here with some friends to catch some bug Pokemon. They're all itching to get some Pokemon battles. Okay, sir. Viridian Forest, be nice to me. Be nice to me, please! Primeape. Ah, could have been better, but I'll take it. It's got Cross Chump, Jesus Christ. That's a secret power. Ah, I've poisoned it! It's got Soft Boil, Joe. <laughs> okay. Bro! Stay in the Pokeball! Oh my lord, no! Oh, thank god for that. There we go, we captured the Primate. Oh, Gen 3's- Oh no, I've got potions, haven't I? 
Give a nickname to primates. Female. Um, Lucy the primate. It doesn't sound ha angry enough, does it? What's an angry name? What is an angry name? Call this thing Naomi, I don't know why. Um... Oh crap, what is this? Quite rare root mushroom? Okay, so hopefully... Yeah, hopefully... Naomi will survive! I think she should. I think she will. She's on fire, oh my lord. Ah, oh, she survived, thank god. She survived, okay. That's good. That is good. So, we have Mia, Shade, and Naomi, which definitely do need to get some grinding done. Uh, it's got Rock Head, and it is a normal and ground type. Soft Boiled, Assist, and Cross Chop, Astonish. Which is not too bad. I definitely do need to train these guys up. I'm super upset that we did lose two Pokemon as well. I could have had some serious power on the team. Um, so, I will trade these guys up and get them up to around level 9 to 10, uh, including Mia as well. Uh, this time around, I will include the grinding. Uh, a lot of people tend to not believe that I do grind, which I genuinely do, but I don't know why people don't believe it, so I will include the grinding at the beginning of the episodes and stuff like that. So, I do want to say a big thank you for coming out and supporting today's episode. Episode 1, absolutely insane straight away, and I genuinely don't understand why. I've been absolutely insane. Thank you guys so much for your support in the series. I'm super excited to get this thing kicked off. Be sure to check out T-Tube's designs as well. They make awesome Pokemon prints as well, just like the one that I'm wearing. There will be a link down below in the description. You can use the coupon code Faint Attack. Uh, Faint, sorry, uh, for 10% off at checkout. But with all that being said, guys, my name is Infinitex. You've been amazing as always, and I will see you guys back in the next one. Bye! <laughs>